It's opening night. The historic Paramount Theater marquee sign is being replaced after 80 plus years. The audience is anxious. Three, two, Curtain. One. Critics and patrons rave. A successful debut. But as with any production, there were many steps to set the stage. It started when the Paramount Theater's nonprofit management contacted City Lights Energy Conservation Specialists about possible savings on their electric bill. So I worked with them on a project to convert their interior lighting to more energy efficient lighting. While I was working with them, I found that they were uh, building a new sign for the outside and uh, that they were considering energy efficiency options for that. So we combined the project and uh, treated the interior lighting and the sign as one large energy efficiency project. The old sign was definitely showing its age, and the 1930s technology was costing the nonprofit a bundle for electricity. But there was a lot of love for the old sign, and it was a protected historic landmark. So the project design was turned over to the Kirkland-based The Sign Factory. It not only needed to be approved by the owners, um, it needed to be approved by the City of Seattle and the Historic Landmark Committee, um, all of which is a, uh, took a long time. It was over six months in the approval process. Based on everybody's recommendation, we, we came up with a win-win um, uh, solution. That was to keep the original appearance, including the colors, shape, size, and number of lights, but to use new technology to save energy while retaining good light quality needed for the sign. This required the sign factory to work with some cutting edge technology. Some of the components have never, have never been out until now. Um, for example, the LED lights themselves. These bulbs are over 90% more efficient than the existing. The original sign had uh, about 1,500 40 watt incandescent light bulbs around the uh, edges of the sign and uh, each of the letters on both sides of the sign was neon with a very inefficient uh, transformer for each of the letters. It also was so old that it had a motor electromechanical device to make the sign blink. To find this exact bulb, we looked at almost uh, over hundred, hundreds of bulbs. We actually then tested uh, about two dozen after we narrowed our search down. Power consumption of the existing sign is uh, it's 120 volts. Um, it's currently using about 280 amps. Um, the new sign here is 120 volts also, but it currently will run off of about 22 to 23 amps. As the old sign came down and the new sign took its place, there was even more savings found inside the theater. This entire building inside is uh, mostly incandescent lights. There's over 3,500 incandescent light bulbs, including the little ones and the beautiful chandeliers up to the, the large ones uh, in the auditorium. All of those are going to be replaced by a combination of LEDs and compact fluorescents. The entire project is going to save about uh, half a million kilowatt hours per year. That translates to an electric bill savings for the Paramount of about $27,000 a year. On top of the annual energy savings, City Light helped fund the lighting upgrade through its rebate programs. Seattle City Light offers incentives such as technical assistance and rebates to business customers to promote adoption of energy saving technologies. Energy conservation is a more cost effective way to meet Seattle's electricity needs than alternatives such as building new power plants. We try and make this process as painless and as easy as possible. We know that uh, facilities, especially uh, industrial facilities, are often on tight schedules and we try and work with the facility to be sure that our rebate process doesn't hold up their schedule. We will work both with the facility and with the contractor that they hire to do the job. Contact City Light Conservation Resources to get started on your energy efficient project or to schedule a free consultation. Call 206-684-3800 or visit the conservation website. Peter Clark for Seattle City Light.